Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will discuss about work done by a constant force. And first of all we need to understand about what is work, what is often known as physical or mental effort. And one, one other definition can be done or we can ex explain like this. Let us consider a body of mass M which is displaced for some instant, for some distance D. We can also known as displacement D. The work done by a force is a scalar product of force, component of force and displacement. We can also say that let us resolve this force into components. This is force and if we resolve this into components, the, this component is one component which is known as vertical component and this component is known as horizontal component. It is also known as F cos of theta and F sin of theta. So we need to consider the force component which is parallel to the displacement. Then we can also show that we can also say that work done by a force which is a scalar product of force and displacement. So we know that force is also a vector quantity, displacement is also a vector quantity, but the scalar product of two vector quantities become a scalar quantity. So work will be a scalar quantity. This uh, f dot d becomes from um, product of force component f cos theta and displacement. The force component f cos theta the question is that why it is taken because f cos theta is a component of force which is uh, along the direction of displacement and this is our definition of for uh, definition of work done so in other case how we can say that and we need to we need to solve about different methodologies or different characteristics of work done or different uh, attributes of work done uh, in some cases no work is done and in some cases maximum work is done how can, how we can say that for example when a bucket a full of water is carried out by someone this is water and it is carried out someone the force is along the upward direction which is known as F and it is moving in this direction horizontally with some displacement and we are we are asked that what is work done in this case so we know the formula f dot d is equal to work done and if we open this the work done will be f d cos of theta so we know what is the uh, angle between f and d the angle is 90 degree as you see force is along the um, uh, vertical axis and distance or displacement is along horizontal axis then theta is 90 degree then F D cos of 90 degree and practically or in the in physics we can say that no work is done because cos 90 is 0, 0 and 0 multiplied by anything becomes 0 and in other case we can say that how we can justify that uh, what is positive work done and what is negative work done. We do not know actually but we need to understand that the work done only depends upon theta. So if theta is greater than 90 degree then what will be the work done or if theta is less than 90 degree what will be the work done or if theta is equal to 0 degree then what is work done. In all the cases we need to find the work done by a force, by a constant force. Then if theta is greater than 90 degree then it depends upon cos of theta uh, W is equal to F D cos of theta. If theta is greater than 90 degree then we can say that negative work done because cos cos 100 or more than 90 degree any value the value will be negative and we can say that it is a negative work done and in case of theta less than 90 degree we can say that work is equal to fd cos of theta 
or if we put some value less than 90 degree then positive value will come and positive work done will be done and in the case of theta is equal to 0 degree then we can say that w is equal to f the fd cos of theta and cos 0 become 1 then it will become fd and maximum work will be done in this case and uh, in other case um, when generalize when generalizing the value of uh, work done in in the uh, relationship of theta and displacement and force we can say that work is all is a scalar quantity which is a dot product of or scalar product of two vector quantities and it only depends upon force applied force displacement and cause of theta and this theta becomes cos theta becomes comes from f cos theta this is a force component and displacement guys up till now we have studied or discussed about work done how it is produced and what are the characteristics of work done and how work done depends upon theta and force and displacement and it also depends upon directional or direction of force up till now we have finished the work done and uh, if you have any suggestion or comments you can discuss with me in the comment box and if you want to learn something uh, i also uh, engage with online tuition and i will also give my contact information you can contact with me and in, we will see you in the next video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, good luck thank you so much bye bye